Since 1950, more than 6.3 million metric tons of plastic waste has been created by people around the world. That number is so big you can't even count it in terms of elephants or Empire State Buildings. Of that waste, only 9% has been recycled. The rest has either been incinerated, buried in landfills, or lost to the environment. My name is Kara Lavender Law and I'm a research professor of oceanography at Sea Education Association, or SEA, in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. Since 1971 at SEA, we've taken undergraduate students out to sea to study the ocean on tall sailing ships that are also oceanographic research vessels. I'm here at my home in Maine, where I work to study the sources, scale, and fate of plastic pollution in the ocean. Since the mid-1980s, thousands of sea semester students have sailed in the open ocean, towing plankton nets to collect biological material floating at the surface of the ocean, as well as plastic particles that come up in those plankton nets that they painstakingly count from the contents of a net tow. With the support of the National Science Foundation, we analyzed this decades long data set and found that the tiny bits of plastic floating at the sea surface accumulate in a very large zone in the subtropics, far from shore. This area is often referred to as the garbage patch, but it's not a floating island or a landfill of trash that's visible from sea. It consists of these tiny bits of broken down plastic. The area in the map that you see with warm colors shows you those highest concentrations of plastic and the black stars are the very peak values that we've observed. And as you can see, all of these occur very far from land, even though the plastic, most of the plastic that we use and dispose of as waste uh, is generated on land. In the decades since I've started researching plastic pollution in the ocean, public concern has just risen at an incredible rate. And as a result, the public is thinking a lot more about how we use plastics and what happens to them when we throw them away. As a result, my research has gradually moved upstream and I'm now actively studying how much plastic waste we in the United States produce as a population and what happens to that plastic waste, whether it is burned for energy, whether it is buried, recycled, or exported for processing. What has become clear, especially in light of the current COVID-19 pandemic, is that we absolutely rely on plastics. And bans are not a reasonable solution to a plastic pollution problem. However, we have to carefully think about how we use these materials and when we choose to use them, we have to take responsibility to properly manage the waste that results. Finally, we have to really carefully think about making less waste. If we produce less plastic waste, there's less that we have to manage and less that will ultimately end up in the environment, either accidentally or intentionally. The future will necessarily have to move beyond putting the bottle into the blue bin. By the way, this is not my water bottle. As you've surely figured out by now, I carry a reusable bottle everywhere I go. Thank you.